this video, we will explore how we can install the mouse module to write object-oriented programming code. And from there, we will look at how to create our very first class and instance of that class. Let's get started. First of all, open up your terminal. I'm currently using Visual Studio Code Integrated Terminal, but you can use whatever terminal is the most convenient to you. From there, let's type cpanm, and the module we want to install is called mouse. And hit the return. Now this is going to take a minute or two for you to install. Since I already have that module installed, it just says that the mouse is up to date. When the module has done installing, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the file explorer and I'm going to create a new folder called lib. It's a standard to keep your module's name spaced in directory called lib when working with Perl. In this lib directory, I'm going to create a new Perl module file, which I'm going to call human, and I'm going to postfix it with .pm for Perl module. Hit return. Now from there we're going to type package module name which is human in our case and we're going to say use mouse and we know from previous lectures that we need to return a truthy value for modules to compile i'm just going to return number one and add a semicolon at the end and hit save now the next step is let's make sure that this module is actually compiling and everything looks okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new file i'm going to call it test.pl and now that i'm creating this file outside of the lib directory and the first thing that we do, we always write the shebang line, which is hashtag, exclamation mark, user, bin, environment, pro. Then we use the stricts and use warnings, progmas. And I'm going to use the module that I just created, which is called human. So use human ending with semicolon. Right, I'm going to save this and I'm going to try to run that file. So open up your terminal and type perl dash i for include. So what we want to include is our library folder, which is lib. And then we want to execute the test Perl script file, which is test.pl. If we run this, all right, we don't see any errors, which is pretty good. So let's continue and create a human instance from this class. So let's say my variable name, which I'm going to call human equals human arrow notation new. I'm going to use the use data dumper just to log out what we're just to log out the human variable to see what it contains. After we have defined the human variable, we can say warn dumper dollar sign and human ending with semicolon if i save that go back to the console and rerun the pro command oops looks like i can spell so that would be human save that rerun the script we can see that we have a blessed reference that's namespaced under human in the current form our module is not very useful we can create instance of our new class and all seems to be working but we don't really have any methods or attributes in the next lectures, we will explore how we can change that by bringing some life to our objects.